Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome to Last and Earth Survival. So, season 45 has begun kind of a few days ago, and just in case if you've been living under a rock, we have finally gotten these Dragunovs, and I have a raid <laughs> ready outside, so we're gonna go and raid that base. Obviously, I'm gonna bring a Dragunov for that raid. Why not? And yeah, today's goal is to probably progress a little bit further through the season pass. Maybe I'll even be able to reach here level 60. If I reach that, I am going to recycle this Dragunov, because by recycling these Dragunovs, you have a chance of getting a blueprint, and I think it's kind of fun to get some blueprints. And if you want more blueprints, you can get another blueprint here at level 80 plus. You can get here one more Dragunov. And I already have one Dragunov, so that's why I don't mind recycling it. So I guess that's everything. Oh, and I haven't mentioned that probably we're going to do 99 waves today. And we are going to exchange some of these blue cards to purple cards. And yeah, after doing 99 waves, we're maybe going to get extra 20 blues. So I am aiming to open up at least two purple cards, but hey, we'll see. Maybe two, maybe three. I'm probably aiming for two because I kind of don't want to go and uh, waste everything as well. I don't want to go and exchange like 50 blue for five purple, but maybe I'm going to open up two purple cards, ladies and gentlemen. So hey, we'll see. So welcome, welcome. Glad to see all of you here. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. And uh, yeah, hopefully this raid is going to be fine as well. I've just done like a little bit of research. I don't have a slightest clue what kind of loot we can get there. I just know how to enter this base. And that is pretty much it. I don't think we need to know anything else. So let's hop there. And uh, I am pretty certain that maybe we will reach like level 55, 56 today. Because I remember when I was level like 70 or something, I was able to reach to level 75. Or maybe when I was level 68, I was able to reach level 75 in like one day by doing the police department. So maybe today we'll reach the level 60 because at lower levels, you need less points to progress further. And hey, I forgot to mention that. Hey, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. I'm glad to see all of you here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, you already know what to do. Hop to the pinned comments down below. There you can find timestamps, uh, smash the like, check out the timestamps. You can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream quicker. And that is it. Let's start opening up uh, this wall and let's see what kind of goods we can get here and I think as soon as we are done with this raid we're gonna go to the transport hub because the transport hub is still is still fun why not let's open up this door over here there we go and nothing and yeah, after the transport hub I think we'll begin doing those 99 waves I'll try to speed around those 99 waves well by speed run I mean I'll try to do them as fast as possible we will probably bring a brutalizer and bunch of grenade launchers, and that's how we're gonna do those 99 ways. Uh, what do we have here? 12 iron bars. Okay. Do I? Is it really okay? I'll bring this stuff back to the base, and if I don't have space, I'll have to delete that. But if I have space, I'll definitely take it. Nice looking raid. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it is a good raid. Maybe it is a goop raid. I have no idea. 99 landmines, says Rudy Hello. Sadly, I don't have 99 landmines. I have like 40-something landmines. Wait, let's go to the weapons. And we got, ladies and gentlemen... Where is it? Where are the landmines? I didn't see them. Oh, we have only 40 landmines. Plus, I have like probably 20 at the base. We have like 65 landmines, I guess, in total. I could craft some of them. But I'm sure that's not going to be enough. Even if I craft them, I won't have enough resources to craft 99 landmines. But that's a... That's a viable strategy. Okay, let's get some more planks. Even though we already have an insane amount of planks, I don't know if we should actually take them. Because we have a bunch of planks at the settlement. We have an insane amount of planks inside of the warehouse. And here we go. We are getting even more planks from this raid. But hey, we'll see. We will see. So guys, have you seen the most recent free-to-play videos? There will be more free-to-play videos on Last and Earth, so no worries about that. But I... There is that. Have you seen our off-camera grind? Our off-camera loot? Those buggers. Uh, we could maybe bring some stones. I'm not gonna say no to that. There we go. Let's take it. I'm gonna drop that stuff in the base. It's not like I can take anything else from this raid anyways. Doesn't even have 99 landmines. Do you even play Last on Earth? Hope you're having a good day. Just kidding, says Rudy. No worries. I understood you're joking. Welcome to the stream, mate. Glad to see you here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. However, maybe we can craft uh, some mines. I mean, we'll go back to the base and we'll see how many of those resources I got. Maybe I'll craft some mines. Maybe I'll, like, go crazy. And I'll do it. Plus, I'll... At the same time, I don't really want to waste my high-tech components because I kind of don't have a lot of these things. I have, like, a few hundred of them, but... If I'll ever need them, I won't have them, so I kind of don't want to waste a hundred of these high-tech components. 
We will see, ladies and gents. We will see. Okay, I've opened up some of these chests. These chests. I think that's it. There's nothing else I can take. Go crazy, says Drakatana. Welcome to the stream, mate. It's been quite a while. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see you here. Hello, hello. And that is it. That is the raid, ladies and gentlemen. So, does this raid get Sykes approval? I doubt it. It does not get Sykes approval. It's a pretty goop raid. Omni God says goop raid. Absolutely. It is a pretty goop raid, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of goop. Like, very goop. Okay, time for us to wait. Before we go back to the base, I want to go back to the settlement real quick. We might take that daily loot. Because why wouldn't we take that daily loot? Auntie says it's a 10 out of 10 raid. Yeah. 10 out of 10 bad. But not, not 10 out of 10 good raid. No, no, this raid is goop, ladies and gentlemen. That raid was bad. Even on my free-to-play account, I would be, like, very disappointed to get that raid. Like, it's, it's, it's a bad raid. Again, there could be a worse raid. There could be a worse raid. I said horse raid. There can be a worse raid. But, uh, yeah. Just because there can be a worse raid doesn't mean that that raid was good. That raid was trash. You know what I'm saying? Some of you said that there is a rest up event. Was there really a rest up event? Excuse me, mister. Do I even have my chopper here? Did I bring a chopper with me? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. So you guys smashed like if you haven't smashed it yet. And if we have a rest up, I'm going to go to that rest up. And after the rest up, we're going to clear the transport hub. That's it. I'm ready. Is that a ju That's a junkyard event. Bleh! I'm not going there, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me, but I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Bleh! That raid is pretty bad. Not raid, but the, the junkyard event. It's pretty good. Cool. What is the new surrounded episode coming, says Enko Ozzy. I have no idea if there will be more surrounded videos. Maybe. I can't promise anything. I can't also deny anything, as I don't know. Maybe there will be. I actually brought the Dragunov to shoot with it during the raid, but I didn't even use it. I forgot about it. I apologize. I completely apologize. Uh, let's drop some of these guns here. Um, little bit of healing items. Okay, they'll go there. I don't have to pay them because I think... Wait, I do have to pay them. Let's give them that electronic circuit. I know that maybe it's not very smart. You can give them a spear and everything. But hey, they're going to take this electronic circuit. And they will leave my base. And that's it. Let's call them on the radio again. The 60 second videos are fun. I really enjoy them, says David. There might be more 60 second videos, though. I'm not sure about surrounded, but about 60 seconds, probably there will be more. Maybe. I don't know. Can't promise anything. Scum video soon. There might be more scum survival as well. There will be more scum survival. Just don't have the exact date. And uh, the time when it will be released. Okay, let's drop the, the, the things over there. It's like, what is the best gun in the game? I mean, now probably Dragunov. I'd even maybe argue. Maybe still Ultimatum is better than the Dragunov. But if the fully modded Dragunov is probably better than the Ultimatum. But... Unmodded Dragunov is actually worse than the ultimatum, in my opinion. When the zombies have armor. So there's that. Have you played God of War a bit? Yes. It's a great game. That's all I have to say. Okay, we came here. Now it's time for us to go and clear the transport up. First of all, I'm going to go and get that drone while I still remember that. Because I'm going to forget it later. We should build a helicopter. Sadly, helicopter is not in the game, so I cannot build that helicopter, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. If I could, I would. Okay, let's get this. I'm going to get some healing items. That's a lot of healing items, ladies and gents. That's more than I need. Okay, I checked. We have enough grenade launchers for today. For today's 99 waves. Kind of decent. Let's get a few shotguns. An AK. And we're gonna get... I should have brought these thingies, though. Okay, I'm gonna get the two flare guns instead of the two glocks. There we go. Let's get some Genesis weapons. And we can begin. Purple cards are not worth it. Yes, purple cards are not worth it. Nobody should open up those purple cards. But I'm not nobody. I need to waste them, so I'm gonna open them up. 
Um, let's get... What else can we get? This thing. There we go. That should be more than enough. I'm probably going to get another set of armor as well because this one is about to break. We might get another one. And once all of those armor armors break, everything's going to be great. Actually, I'm going to equip this broken one because I had this broken tactical armor. I can equip it real quick. And I can... Uh, upgrade these weapons. I mean, modified them. Wait, there's one more thing that I want to check out. These landmines, guys. I could craft a handful of these landmines. Actually, I could craft 60 landmines. No, I can craft 20 landmines because I don't have enough nails. And wait, how many of these I got? 20. Huh. I could craft 20 landmines, ladies and gentlemen. I do have the resources for it. It's not worth it, though, but what am I going to do with the resources anyways? Hmm. And then we could do 99 waves with 99 mines. We'll see. Don't. That's a lot of steel, says Ethan. What am I going to do with that steel? We have, like, an abundance of that steel. We do have a lot of it, and I haven't used it in a long time. So I might actually craft it. We'll see. I just don't have enough nails. Wait, do we have nails in the inbox? If we do, then maybe I'll use it. Uh, no nails here. Equipment. No, no, it's not in the equipment. It might be in the resources. No. Spare parts. Where can the nails be? Okay, we got 300 high-tech components. That's great. So you know what? We might actually do it. We have 300 and something nails here. Okay, guys, so maybe we will do 99 waves with... Uh, with, 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 with landmines. I guess that's a... We could do that. Yeah, maybe we'll do it. I'll come to the base, I'll craft extra 99 waves. Uh, extra 20 mines and that's it. We're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing it. So buckle up, buckaroos. After 99 waves, we're gonna craft 20 more landmines and we will start clearing 99 waves with those 99 landmines. Welcome. Welcome to all those that have just joined. Whoops. That's not where I want to go. And we're going to go here as well. You have nails in the settlement box. Oh, we also have nails there. I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about it. Why not try upgrading some storages? To upgrade those storages, I need ash blanks. And ash blanks take a lot of grind. Like a lot of grind, it's not really... I mean, it is worth worth it to upgrade them, but it does take a lot of time, and that's it. If we're crafting mines, we might as well do five purple, says Jamie Preston. Five purple cards today. Hmm. Maybe we will do it. Maybe I will open up five purple. Wait, was the PD reset or not? I'm sure it's reset. So, guys, we might even open up five purple today. Again, I can't promise anything as I don't know. Maybe we won't open up five purple, but... I mean, we'll see. We could open up five purple cards today. I mean, why wouldn't I do it? Give me at least one reason. Because, like, it's not worth it, it's stupid! I agree. Wait, you'd like me to open up those five purple cards, wouldn't you? I know you'd want me to do it. I'm sorry to ask, since when do we have a drone? I haven't played this game for almost a year, says Zaza. Uh, you get... Uh, the drone has been added a few months ago. Maybe three, four, five months ago, if something like that. Less than half a year ago, let's say like that. It's been added less than ten years ago, and... Yeah. I mean, actually, less than a half a year ago, all jokes aside, yeah. Maybe three months ago, four months ago, something like that. Purple machete mod, 100% for five... If we open up five purple... We'll see. We will see. 100% if we get a purple machete mod. 100% that we get a purple machete mod today. I quite doubt that. I can I cannot smell that machete today, but we'll see. Stop beating around the bush and open five purple, says Drakatana. Thanks, Drakatana, for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. The thing should appear on the stream very soon. Thank you, thank you, man. And yeah, we're going to open up the five purple today. Except before we do this, we need to craft some mines and... Uh, and what else do we need to do? And yeah, do those 99 waves, obviously. Because I don't have enough blue yet. Even to open up five purple. I think I have 39 blue. So we have already almost four purple. So there's that. These stupid zombie officers. Why do they have to heal? 
I don't get it. I don't understand that. Why don't you put a skin outfit on your character, says Mario's? Because I don't like the skins and outfits here for some reason. I like to see my own gear here. I used to have a skin. I used to run with a skin, but it, I don't know, it just looks Stop good. Beating around the bush and open five purple. So yeah, once again, Jakatana, thanks for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. And yes, we will be opening up five purple today. That wasn't the goal. The goal was to open up only, only two purple. But hey, looks like we're gonna open up five purple. We can do it, ladies and gentlemen. We will do it. Let's go here and... Oh my goodness, didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm gonna do something else here. No! I, ah, my goodness, the stupid terminal! It blocked me, I thought I can go there. I was supposed to go there, ladies and gentlemen. But the terminal has blocked me. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, go and spit. Stupid acid melter. Alright. We can do it, ladies and gentlemen. Just hide behind this thing. And everything's gonna be fine. There go, they're all dead. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We survived. It's like you used three stacks of first aid kits. Yes, I did use a lot of first aid kits. But it is what it is. How do you get good weapons and guns fast, says Ethan. Make sure to check out my free-to-play playlist. There I explain how to clear Bunker Alpha. And you can get lots of good weapons inside of Bunker Alpha. Truck trick. Yes, indeed. That was the truck trick. That was way too close. Nah, nah. Everything was calculated. Calculated everything. On my Casio calculator. Casio? Casio? I have no idea how that calculator brand is pronounced, but you got the point. I can only tell you that everything was calculated. That's all I can say. Calculated closely, yeah. Calculated precisely. Not closely. It was calculated precisely, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's open this box up here. It's like, where can I get a battery for my drone? You can get batteries inside of the transport hub, actually. Yeah. You get sometimes some batteries inside of the transport hub in one of the crates. Randomly, that's where you get them. I don't know if there are any other places where you can find that stuff. Oh, load the stupid toxic darters. Okay, let's heal up because I had only 80 health. And 80 health is always bad. Okay, let's heal up. 80 health against... Two toxic darters is pretty stupid. They can just kill you with with one shot. Everything is calculated. Everything is Casioed. Says Agung. That's actually a good idea. A, a good joke. I Casioed everything. Um, actually, I'm gonna get this katana. And there we go. Just like that, we're gonna dodge these acid melters. They're stupid. They're dumb. There we go. How many lab runs do I need to assemble the drone? Ten lab runs or five. Five to ten lab runs, depending how many guns you got. If you got a lot of guns, I still wouldn't even suggest you doing that. Just do ten lab runs. Just clear A1 and A2 sector. Don't go to B1 and B2 sector because those sectors are very expensive and they don't they're not worth to clear that come on sorry play the candy crush music i mean it's all in the playlist there is no candy crush music and the 3d beast thanks for the super chat whoa well almost died there sorry 3d beast thanks for the super chat welcome to the stream and uh, we were talking about something I forgot what we were talking about at all, but in any case, guys, you know what's up. This guy, this guy's what's up. Okay, I can get this. Oh, we'll take that. Is the medical storage container worth it? Oh, actually, we were speaking about the laboratory. So yeah, medical container storage is not worth it. I mean, if 
you've been playing the game for three, four years and you're telling me, oh, sorry, I want to get it. Sure, you can get it. You've been playing this game for a long time. You know what you're doing. You don't really need my approval for that medical storage container, right? But if you are a new player, then it's not worth it. Unless you've been playing this game for years and you want to get that medical storage container and you're bored and you don't know what to do with the game, then yes, it is worth it. But for the 99% of people, it's not worth it. It is way too expensive. And yeah, we were talking about the laboratory. The laboratory and... And how to get the drone. So you need to get 10... Uh, flight controllers and you can get one flight controller at a2 sector by defeating the boss or you can get the second flight controller at the b2 sector but to get to the b2 sector you need to clear b1 sector and it's not really worth it so that's why i suggest you to clear only a1 and a2 sectors so hopefully that explains some stuff whoa 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 let's hide over here um, at level 46, reputation in the laboratory. Wait, how many levels are there? And at what level do you get that medical table? Level... Maybe at level 40 or at level 60. I don't remember. I totally have no idea. Uh, nothing here. At level 50. Oh, then good luck with getting your medical table. You're very close to getting it if you're at level 46. We're going to go all the way now to another side. Will I ever assemble that drone modification table? I am I keep getting these drone parts and yet I don't have that mod upgrade table. Maybe today will work a little bit on the settlement. We'll see though, because we have to do 99 waves. So we'll see. Maybe I will go to the settlement. Maybe I'll try to upgrade some of the things there. But hey, I don't have enough. Uh, I forgot how the thing is called. Well, I don't have enough resources in the settlement. That's it. There we go. The dude's dead. I have nothing. Wait, isn't the Sigma skin at the last reward? Yes, yes, you can get the Sigma skin. But I haven't grinded for that Sigma skin yet. Then probably Sigma skin is at level 60. Haven't grinded for it because I'm not really interested in that skin anyways. And drone required. Why can't you just take the drone out of your pocket? We've waited too long for you to assemble that drone mod table. It's been 84 years. I mean, it is expensive. Like, it is ridiculously expensive to get it. You need a lot of grind there and... I'm not too excited about it. The drone is pretty goop. Even with the good mods, it's pretty goop. And I don't know. Everything's goop. That's why I'm not rushing it. Whoa, heal schmuck. I had one health, but hey, guys, don't worry. No worries. Everything was calculated. Everything was totally calculated. Stupid toxic daughter. Just die, schmuck. I hate you with passion. Those schmucks have healed up fully now. I hate these stupid carrions. Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. Okay, one of them is dead. And we're going to get one more carrion. And then we got... Sadly, these carrions no longer drop bunker alpha tickets. I have no idea why they decided to remove those bunker alpha tickets. They were like, nah, that's way too OP. Devs were like, nah, those schmucks can get three green... Bunker Alpha coupons. We're gonna remove that. They can't get that here. That is too much. Like, bro, you gotta be kidding me. Give us at least those Alpha coupons. At least. It was cool. Sometimes you could get maybe a few yellow ones. Why did they remove them? That's stupid. That's that's actually stupid. I don't know why they removed that. It's not like it was super OP or anything. Like, just give us some coupons. Then here. It's like, what's your chopper level? I don't have a slightest clue. If you had $20 to spend on a month on last on Earth, what would you spend it on? Nothing. Okay. 
That's my opinion. I mean, again, personally me, I would spend it on nothing. But you might have different preferences. Maybe you want to get a season pass. Maybe you want to get the the steel room once it's on sale. Let's say those are the two only things that you should probably get. Either the season pass or the... Or the... Whatever the thing is called. The steel room. But again, I'm not your financial advisor. You do what you want with your money. I can't advise you what to buy in the game here. You buy what you gotta buy. You buy what you wanna buy. Okay, that's it. We got two of these things. Have I scanned all the boxes? Feels like I've scanned only three boxes. Hmm. Interesting. Sorry, the financial advisor. I am not the financial advisor. Can I play Last Earth on my MacBook? I don't know. Unless there are Android emulators, maybe some of you can confirm or deny that. Can you have an Android emulator on a MacBook? Maybe. Any raids today? Maybe there will be some raids. We've already done one raid, actually. But there might be more raids as well. Okay, glass. Do I need it? Eh, whatever. Let's take it. I took it. I'm gonna loot some goop here. It's like, I feel like if you pay for some stuff, you don't have to grind. And the only reason to play is grind. Kind of says Carl. I mean, you are kind of right. I mean, Lies on Earth is all about grind. Uh, how about we get this and the flare gun? And let's deal with some of these midshipmen's. Looking for what here? For nothing. I'm just clearing the transport hub. Because this is the transport hub. The transport hub doesn't have anything I need right now. Would be cool if it had better settlement items. It used to have better settlement items. If we get a settlement crate, maybe I will open it up after all. Last time I wanted to open it up, but I said that we get goop items. And I didn't open it up, but now I kind of feel like we should open it. This time I feel like maybe I should open up that settlement crate. I'll get garbage from it, from that CYF crate. That's what I'll do. Will you play Mini Life again? Maybe when it releases on Steam, that's when I'll play Mini Life Tournament again, perhaps. Okay, goodbye, sailors. If you do zero grind in Last on Earth, you're playing Last on Earth wrong. I mean, you can't have zero grind in the game. You always have to grind here. But to be honest, if you don't like grinding in Last on Earth, you can get a lot of resources just by doing very basic things. Like, once you unlock the chopper, you can just log in the game to do the rest up event. On top of that, do your airdrops. Then open up a few brown crates inside of the police department. Then what else can you do for free there? That's it. I guess those are the things that you can do. Like, that's what I try to do in my free-to-play account. That's... And you get lots of resources just by doing those things. Okay, how about I open this up? A boss here? Nope. Just basic schmucks. Can you make a new free-to-play account? A new free-to-play account, guys. I think it's a joke from the previous live stream. Guys, I'm not creating another free-to-play account. We've just started our old free-to-play account like a few days ago. Not a few days ago, but a few weeks ago. A month ago, perhaps? But will there be more free-to-play videos? Yes, there will be more free-to-play videos, but... Another free-to-play account? Well, not anytime soon, guys. Not at least in the next uh, five days. Maybe on the sixth day, I'll create another free-to-play account. This world of mine, says Malik. I have made a few videos on this world of mine. Maybe there will be more in the future, I can't promise. I'm sure the boss is not here. 
new free to play account after every update says dreadful man. I mean, sure. Sounds like a good idea. He already has 50 free to play accounts, says Grim. That's not enough. 50 accounts, those are just rookie numbers. We need more. We need more. Can I loot anything here? Oh, yes, I can. I'll probably get some goop. I got one pee bottle. That's it, one pee bottle! Why not a gasoline canister here? Why one bottle of fuel? That's silly. That is silly. Um, what else do we need to do? The boss music, that's why we're here. We've all gathered for the boss music. And what kind of boss do we have to fight here? I don't even know. The miner or the butcher? Oh no, this is the miner. Oh no. Oh lord. Oh lord. I'm gonna try to wall trick this schmuck. Okay. That's working, ladies and gentlemen. So you can wall trick this dude with a melee weapon if you want to. Okay. Okay, the flare gun is a bit too slow. You see? I got stunned. The flare gun is too slow. I mean, you can do it, but I don't like it. Wait, I want to get my bandages here real quick. Okay, we gotta wait. Okay, I'm gonna use my flare gun here quite extensively. Because why wouldn't I... DUDE STOP MOVING! DONUT! By donut I mean the miner. This boss schmuck moved for no reason. I don't deserve that. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Okay, I need another gun. Uh, perhaps a shotty. Okay. Actually, this gun is very good against this dude. Oh no, I got stunned! Mistakes were made, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay, though. Can soak up a little bit of damage. Again, if you have patience... And if you're precise, you can wall trick this guy with melee weapons. It'll take quite a while. But it is doable with melee weapons. Oh no, the dude moved now. I need to heal up. Heal up, schmuck! Okay, how about I hide here? Yikes. How about I go here? No, 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 no. Dude, no, stop it, stop it, stop it! How about I hide? We have to kill this dude. He's almost dead already. I just need to do a little bit of damage. He moved again! Oh lord! I'm gonna die right now if I don't heal! Heal up, schmuck. Heal up, schmuck. I'm gonna get more of these things. You know what? Maybe I'll just go here. I know, that was stupid. That was very dumb. That was dumb of me. I can't wall trick this guy anymore. Like, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Okay, the dude stunned me again. I'm running out of these. I'm gonna start using my first aid kits instead. I'm gonna get stunned here again. Oh my goodness. Give me my normal gun! Start of your tricks? Probably. Okay. Stop it, dude! Just stay there! There we go. What a schmuck! How dare he? Ok, 
Okay, go on, do your special attacks. Okay. Okay. Go just a little bit. The dude will be dead. Whew! We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Somehow, some way, we did it. Took us quite a while. But we absolutely did it. There were a few mistakes here and there, but in any case, we have gotten the terminal card. Let's skedaddle now from here. Let's skedaddle. Let's dance on on his grave. And let's skedaddle. Let's open up that card, whatever it is. The terminal card. And if we have the CYF crate, I will open up that CYF crate today. All that for 1,500 points. I mean, we did get 1,500 points towards the season pass. Not that bad, to be completely honest with you. Plus, we have the Blackport PD event. I didn't even know that. I was ready to do 99 waves, and I didn't even know that we have the PD event today. This is epic. I don't have to use uh, any of my reanimators. That's great. If you have skill, proceeds to get stunts, as Rudy does. I never said that. I have skill. I said that you guys can can wall trick the the minor boss if you have the skill. I don't have the skill. So I'm telling you that you can guys do it. The GM crate, this is a goop crate. That's not what the doctor ordered. Well, you can vote then what crate we can open up. Uh what crate to open up? One, two. Three or four. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to participate in the poll. These are the rewards that you can... That we can get. It is what it is. But yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the... Of the minor boss. There are a lot of doors there. You could probably utilize them. You could probably move and attack there. But I still don't like the minor boss. Like, he stuns you way too often. It's just annoying. Like, every attack he does is just stun attack. <laughs> it's silly. I don't like it. I totally don't like it. Alright, so... 50% of you are voting... For the third crate. So I guess that's the crate that we'll open up, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, to those that have just joined... We are now clearing the... Uh, transport up after that we're gonna clear 99 waves with mines and we're gonna open up five purple today so buckle up and now let's open up this crate and we have gotten two blue which is okay okay i'll probably take it could have been worse plus we've gotten an extremely rare mod okay so that's great then this was a great crate it was worth it plus we've gotten two vsss and here we've gotten a tactical stock for my ak which i already got but all righty Alrighty, how about I delete this armor because I already I have a better armor and I want to get rid of this one. To blue, it's not good, says CDG. It is good because we have gotten one extremely rare mod, so it is good. And to blue is better than nothing. Sometimes you can get just green and brown. It's fine. To blue is four guns. So from this crate, we in total we have gotten like what? Two VSSs plus a gun. That's already three guns plus four guns from the blue crate. So that's seven guns. Plus a purple mod. I mean, the crate was decent. The crate was okay. That's it. Let's bring all this stuff back to the base and let's get ready for the 99 waves. Let's just do it, ladies and gents. Oh, and then we have to drop some stuff from that box. Stack those bandages. Yeah, we could have brought something else, but like we kind of already have everything. I guess. Is the transport hub worth it? I don't know. It depends. It all depends. Combine your health and get more loot. Yeah, we could have combined those and gotten an extra like what? I don't know what there. Well, we could have even gotten there, but we have everything. But yeah, in any case, let's get ready for the 99 waves.
Raid Sire. Quaid says Bobby the man. Uh, tomorrow, perhaps. Maybe even we'll do more raids today, but now we're gonna do 99 waves. Use grenades in 99 waves. Maybe it'll bring you luck. We're gonna use the mines, as I, I, I said. When do you recommend clearing Bravo for the first time? During the event. During the Bunker Bravo event. I don't know when it appears. But yeah, during the Bunker Bravo event, that's when you should clear it. We already have four, 40 blue guys. So that's decent. That's already four purple. I don't know why I want to open up five purple today. Literally, it makes no sense. It's stupid. It's just plain dumb. But I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Or is the thing that I've learned quite recently here in France, as they say, I'm not the penguin that slides the farthest. You know? So I will open up those purple cards. I mean, we did get eight copper from that transport up, which is also quite decent. We don't do things here because they make sense, says Rudy. Exactly. We do things because... Why not? Not because they make sense. Absolutely. Okay, I can drop that here, but what about lead plates? Do I store lead plates here? No, I don't. Where on earth do I keep my lead plates then? Here then. Okay. Um, yeah. And yeah, guys, for absolutely no reason, we're changing the topic. Yesterday, I've watched all three Terminators. I've watched Terminator 1, 2, and 3. I've never seen them before. I mean, I have seen, like, pieces of it. Like, I knew what it what it is, kind of. But, like, finally, I know the story of it. And for the first time, I was, like, able to watch it, like, properly. And to be honest, I'm very impressed. The first Termi Terminator came out in, like, 1984. And it still looks good. Like, it, it was fine. Except, like, some of the... The, the ending... Like, how the Terminator looks like and everything. Like, that kind of looked kind of funny. But still, other than that, like, it was it was great. I loved it. Now you know about, about Skynet. Yes, indeed. So I'm excited that I watched it. But yeah, I'm going to be watching the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th one. But Cyric, they're bad. Don't watch them. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mother. I will watch them. If they're horrible, like, they're literally, they can be, like, 0 out of 10 in Rotten Tomatoes. I'm still gonna watch them. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. That's it. Uh, let's get ready for the 99 waves. Um... Uh, Chris Stones says the Terminator has a very confusing storyline, but if an eight-year-old me understood it, you will too, says Chrithiness or whatever your name was. So how on earth that was a confusing storyline if an eight-year-old understood it? I kind of don't get it. Your comment con contradicts itself. It's, it's a very confusing storyline, but if an eight-year-old can get it, you'll get it too. Like, what? Excuse me, mister. I'm a little bit lost. Uh, okay, the brain is working now at full capacity. I wanted to bring armor there. Yes, we're bringing armor and some healing items. That's what we're doing. That comment confused me more than the storyline, says Grim. I agree. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's that confusing. Like, literally everything is explained there in the movie. Like, some of the movies that come out now, you'll have to go quickly on Google, like, uh, like Google, like, X and Y movie explained, like, ending explained. But the Terminator endings and everything, they, like, kind of explained everything there. Like, you don't really have to Google anything. In any case. It is what it is. I liked it, that's all I have to say. I loved it! 
Um, are we just gonna clear everything with these armor? Wait, we don't need that many armors, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, ladies and gents, we're just gonna clear 99 ways with the... With the thingies, with the mines, so this will be enough. That'll be enough, we don't need anything else, ladies and gentlemen. That's more than enough. Okay, maybe I'm even gonna drop one more set. That's that'll be three sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We it's enough. Let's get the grenade launchers. Do we need grenade launchers? No, we don't. Dude, we're gonna clear that stuff with mines, as I said. Landmines, 99 ways with landmines. I moved my landmines here. That's 20 plus we have. Uh plenty of landmines here. 40 landmines. 40, that's 65, so we need at least like 30 more landmines. 30 more, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. I'm doing it. And nobody can stop me. 30 more landmines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have to empty the chopper. Yes, indeed. We will do that. There go three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. That's enough. So we already have 85. We need ten more landmines. And we will be Gucci, ladies and gentlemen. The brain is working at full capacity. Uh I came here to get nails. That's what I that's why I've opened this thing up. The one brain cell is working at full capacity. It's so stupid. In any case, let's get some more nails. Uh, where do I even store nails? Here, probably. Let's do it. So, yeah, we need 10 more. 10 more of these. One, two. We are out of... We're out of thingies. We're out of explosive material. I got some balls. Dude, I don't need that many balls. Get out of here. But we have... This... Okay, so we need to have... Some more. That's what I know. One... Two, and then... Three... And I'm gonna craft like probably five more and that should be enough, right? Four and five. There we go. That's like 55 plus 40 there. That's like 95 landmines. That's that's enough. Ladies and gentlemen, that is enough. And I'm ready. I'm ready to do things. Things and stuff. I'm also going to get... Like a few grenade launchers, just in case, because some of these waves of zombies will escape anyways. So I want to get that, plus I will get a brutalizer anyways. It's like the no waste landmines. I will waste them, stop it. I'll get this, this. I'll get a third grenade launcher. Yeah, I don't think we need anything else. That's it. I'm ready. Feed the doggos for a lock. Usually I had more lock without feeding them, so I'm not going to feed them today. I actually wanted to feed them, but yeah, the reason why I don't want to feed them is because I actually probably have more lock without feeding them. I don't know if I actually believe that, but, but yeah. I just don't want to feed them. So I can use this LD player simulator. I'm not using LD player. I'm using Nemo player. <laughs> simulator. Too many healing items, says Richard. Eh, 120. It's too many healing items, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's go to the gas station. We're gonna get the brutalizer. We will repair these things and we can begin our adventure, ladies and gentlemen.
I feel as the last and our developers are actually just one developer, says Rodan. Hmm. You got a good point there. Okay, anything good in the black market? Uh, a C4. Can probably buy it and drop it in my chopper. That's what I'll do. Police cards, you forgot them. I'm not gonna... Op uh, I'll have to go back to the base anyways to open them up, so no worries about it. Okay, let's repair that. Check if landmine damage counts in the event. If it doesn't count in the event, then... I mean, I don't care. I'm already ready. I've, al I've already prepared to do those 99 waves with the landmine. So even if it doesn't count towards the event, I'll still probably use them. Probably. Hey, that's it. We are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready. I'm just going to drop this thing here. It counts. I've already done. It says, oh, just. Okay, thanks for the info. I can see more people saying in the chat that it does count. It does. Okay, that's nice. Ever saw Kefir and Cyric in the same room? Yeah, me neither, says Dreadful. Woof. That's, uh... You're getting close to solving the mystery. <laughs> One man army. I'm ready, <laughs> says Grim. Well, I am ready. I got some things. I'm ready. How was your day been, Cyrix, says Pafchi. My day was been, is, was, am great. Okay, goodbye, raiders. Actually, there was only one raider. The yellow vector lasts for ages, yep. It does, that's why I brought it here. I'm now in season 46, says Moi Moi. Okay. Congratulations. Nice answer for how was your day. I mean, the comment was like that, so I answered it. How the comment asked it. Somebody in the chat said, Psycho wants you to adopt me, and Lila said, You want him to adopt you. You see how he feeds the doggos. I agree. Doggos actually get would get more food than if I adapt you, so there's that. Are you ready to go without food for the, the next half a year? For the next year, then sure. You can be adopted. And no last on earth will be allowed at home. I'm gonna get that grenade. There will be no last on earth. No food, nothing. He doesn't need food, he just needs last on earth. Well, there will be no last on earth. I hope your future kids are useful to you, yep. Me too, I hope they're useful. Like, how old are you? I'm 16. <laughs> let's deal with the jailbird. And let's open up this thing. I'm actually 15 and a half. Almost 16. Okay, let's... Uh, get a grenade. And let's do a couple of waves. Yeah, let's begin this thing. Let's start it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. I don't want to have this grenade, so I am going to use it here, which was stupid for these three zombies. There we go, it popped. 
So yeah, to those that have just joined, welcome to the stream. We're gonna start doing 99 waves with... with 95 mines. There we go. Maybe after this wave we'll start using those mines. I don't know. We'll see. If I bring my own food, can I get adopted to... Adopted? I don't know, man. Are you planning to share that food with me? Then perhaps... If you're willing to give away that food, like whatever you bring there, if you give it to me, then maybe you will get adopted. So you still won't have any food. Okay, guys, let's begin those 99 waves. So we're just going to place a landmine here. Would be cool if I could place more landmines just in one spot. Like you could pre-place like 20 landmines and then you could just click one button. That'd be crazy. And yes, we are getting season pass points. So we are at level 44, almost level 45. Let's see how many more things we'll get here. It's like, if I bring you McDonald's, that's it, you're adopted. I mean, I am adopting you. I'm not saying that you are adopted. Nothing's wrong with being adopted. You got the point, guys. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep doing the waves. But if you offer me McDonald's, that's it. You're like the best human being. Don't yell over the Candy Crush theme, please, says Matthew. Stop it, it's not Candy Crush theme. I've never played Candy Crush. Who has played Candy Crush? It's embarrassing. It's like, which emulator is better for low PC? I think LD Player. LD Player is good for everything, from what I know. Again, I'm using Mimu Player just because I have it already here. I'm too lazy to get anything else. And it works kind of well for me. Nothing else has kind of worked as well as Mimu Player, but I've seen lots of people use different emulators. A lot of people don't like Mimu Player because it's kind of goop for them, so. I have played Candy Crush, but I also Wall Trick the Revenger, says Lila. Yikes. I don't know what's worse, playing Candy Crush or, 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 or wall tricking Revenger. What's wrong with Candy Crush? What's good with it? Actually, I'm guys. I'm just joking. I don't mind Candy Crush. Just never played it. Let's go for another wave. Dude. It is gonna take us quite a while to do it, but hey, we will do it. Also, pick up your cards every, like, few waves. Otherwise, they'll despawn because there's only a limited amount of dead bodies that can be on the map. And once you reach that limit, they will despawn. Can I place another mine? There we go. I place just two mines. Will that work? Ladies and gentlemen, would that work? Or both of these mines explode? Probably both of them will explode. I think both of them exploded. Unless there's another mine there. Well, hopefully I don't step on it. Yeah, guys, I wasted that other mine. That was stupid. I wasted a mine! That mine was mine and I wasted it. Can you die stepping on your own mind? Yes. Psych, prove it! You can actually survive it. I think I survived it with the fish buff. You get the fish buff that gives you plus 10 armor, and with the Kevlar armor, you can survive it. Maybe even with this Kevlar set, you can still survive the mine, even when you step on it. I'm not sure, though. I don't want to step on it right now with this set. You have to stream Among Us, man. I have streamed Among Us before in the past. Whoa. Wait, why didn't that work? I probably left it too early. Oh, I got stunned. That is all right, though. That is the sacrifice I'm willing to make. 
I probably definitely left too early. You wasted mine... ...was mine and mine to waste. You wasted mine was mine. You wasted mine was mine and mine to waste. Yes. THERE WAS A MINE! Bruh, and I survived that explosion. I guess that's great, but at the same time, how on earth did they avoid it? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Totally did not expect that. Totally did not expect it. Whatever, let's go for one more wave. Maybe I placed it a bit too early. It's gotta go here. To be honest, I'm sure we could set uh, a bot here, an auto clicker, where the character can walk a certain amount and place that perfect landmine every time at the same spot without me actually doing anything. I'm sure it's possible. Okay, let's go for the wave 20. At least you know that you can survive the landmine and that armor. Well, yes indeed. So I have wasted two mines now. Those two mines were mine and I wasted a mine. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do one more wave and then I will... Yeah, and then I will pick up those cards. I would be not surprised if mines get nerfed now. You said that, says the A. Why would mines get nerfed? What did they do to deserve that? Boom, the dude's dead. Let's get some more of these guys. Now let's keep going. They won't nerf mines, mines, they aren't easy to come across, says Grim. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they would nerf them. It's not like... It's not like the, it's super OP. Like, good luck getting 99 mines as a free-to-play player. Like, impossible. Mines made 99 waves easy. Carefree don't like easy. But, like, good luck getting 99 mines. Like, it's impossible to get them. Like, the only reason we have that many is because of the season passes and, uh, yeah, because of the season passes, that's it. So, yeah, to those that have just joined, welcome to the stream. Glad to see all of you here. Hopefully, you have a fantastic day. And today, we're going to open up five purple. You might be like, Sarek, don't do it. Sarek, yes, do it. Sarek will open up those uh, five purple. I don't know why, but we will do it. Oh, the PD event has 20% explosion damage reduction. That's how you survived. Oh, maybe that's... Maybe that's why. I do know that it's still possible to survive it even when you get that fish buff with the plus dad armor buff. That's how I have... I've survived that for sure before. That was my first test that I've done when those mines were released. But... I don't think you can survive the mines without the plus 20% buff here during this event. And without the, the fish buff. Five purple for the memes, yes indeed. Five purple for the memes. Everybody likes memes. Grenades are the best way for free to play players to do 99 waves. Yes indeed, except you need to get uh, enough grenades. You need to get enough grenades. Okay, wave 30. We're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Place it, idiot. Okay, after this wave, I might pick up the cards. Okay, let's pick them up. 
And here's a fun fact. You would think that doing 99 waves with mines is like the fastest way to do 99 mines, but uh, to do 99 waves, but that's not actually true. It's about the same as doing it with a with a brutalizer and grenade launchers. It is a lot faster to do 99 waves with uh, with scars and grenade launchers. I get three grenades every couple of days doing motel, bunker elf, and sometimes airdrops. I mean, it'll take you quite a while to get those 99 mines, but yeah. You can absolutely do them. No, 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 don't place that there. Okay, this wave and then one more wave, and then I will pick up the cards. There we go. But now when we have the Kevlar set, we do run a bit faster back and forth. And you might be like, Cyric, does it really matter? Well, yeah, we are doing 99 waves. So if each wave you save a second, you will save 100 seconds. That's already almost two minutes. So it is worth it. Okay, how about I pick up these cards? I don't know why would you do 99 waves as a free-to-play player anyways. Uh, you do get a lot of good stuff as a free-to-play player. If you have 99 mines, you should do it. By doing 99 mines, you will get a ridiculous amount of green cards. And those green cards will keep you fed for, for a long time, to say the least. I wouldn't suggest, like, if you're a free-to-play player and you've just done 99, my, uh, 99 waves for the first time, just don't exchange any green for blue and that's it. You will be swimming in loot. Like, you will have melee weapons for life. You will have, like, you will also get lots of guns and a bunch of other resources. Plus, you'll get, like, extra some green cards. Like, you will absolutely hit profit. Like, you will get some insane profit. It'll take you a while to redeem all of that loot, right? It's not like you will... Let's say you got 50 green, even though you're going to get more than that. But let's say 50 green. It'll take you a while to open up those 50 green cards. But over time, you will profit. Best use for mines anyways. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there's nowhere else you can use those mines. Every other way to use the, these mines is kind of bad. Like, this is the best way to use these mines during the PD. And same thing for the grenades. Like, where else are you going to use the grenades? Okay, let's pick all that stuff up. It's been a while since we've gotten a blue card. There we go. Just mentioned it and we've gotten a blue card. Always exchange brown for green only because browns are easy to get. I mean, yeah, yeah. Brown for green is, is fine. You should do that, but... Green for blue is not worth it. Unless, again, you know what you're doing and you've been playing the game for a while and you know... Like I said, if you know what you're doing. Okay, let's begin another wave. And you guys, the reason why we got so many of these other items, like healing items and other stuff, because sometimes zombies escape and they don't explode. But it definitely took way too many items. All right, I won't trade them for blue, says Goth King. Okay, cool. Great, because you will seriously profit a lot. If you exchange all of your green for blue, you chances are you're not even going to profit. Like, I'm going to tell you right now, like 100 green, if you're going to exchange 100 green for 10 blue, like you'll get only 20 guns from 10 blue. And that's it, 20 guns from 10 blue. Like, it's it's not a lot. But, however, 100 green cards are gonna have you- are gonna give you 100 melee weapons. And possibly maybe 100 guns as well, 50 guns. Like, you will get more guns from 100 green than from 10 blue. Like, the amount of resources you'll get from 100 green is ridiculous. You won't have to do PD at all, you'll just have to log in the game. And every, like, three days, whenever PD resets, just go there and open up, like, five crates. Like, it's insane. I've done that on this account plenty of times. 
I've opened up like an insane amount of green cards. Now it's not really worth it as... I've been playing this game for six years. Like, I can't afford to... To open up some purple. It's not like here I'm using lots of resources. I'm just using these landmines and that's it. And for the content, I'm gonna exchange 50 blue for 5 purple. But you shouldn't do it, that's just stupid. Exchanging green for blue isn't very smart. But blue for purple is... Is like, almost dumb. Whoops. Whoa, another green. Hey, excuse me, blue. That's what the doctor ordered. Imagine if you get your machete blueprint. I don't even know if it's possible to get it here now. The more I play, the more I believe that maybe it's not possible to get that machete blueprint. Inside of the PD. The say two blue there. Wait, I didn't see. Okay, we're at eight blue. Okay, then. I didn't even see another blue card. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, I did not feed my doggos. I wish I'd... I was faster at placing these mines. How about I just look here and then I place them? Oh no, that's way too far. That is way too far. I think some of them will escape. I oh, know they still pop. Okay, that's great. I can just go here and oh no, that's that's wrong. Okay, I think I found a way to place them faster. Just touch the wall and the and the and turn around. Okay. Let's pick up the cards because it's a lot of dead bodies and another blue. How many mines do you still have? All of them. We have enough for the 99 waves. Like here, you get to the middle, you turn around and you place that mine. And there we go. And then we can just skedaddle. I think it's... One of the best ways to place mines. You just get here. And you place it. It's perfect. Like, seriously, it's a lot easier than just... Wiggling around trying to place it. It's it's amazing. There we go. I found a new way to place these mines. By saying I found a new way, I'm not saying that, hey, nobody knew about it. I'm sure maybe a lot of you have already been placing mines that way. I'm just saying that, for me, I've never placed them this way. And it seems like it's a nice way to place them. It's a nice way to place them, I mean. Okay, these schmucks have popped. How about we get some more of these mines now? 40 of them for 40 more waves. There we go. We got them. I will pick up this stuff. I always get one purple when I do 99 waves, otherwise I only open blue crates now. I mean, you exchange 10 blue for one purple because it's impossible to get a blue from from the PD. Seems like a way to accidentally step on them, says random. Maybe, I mean, so far I haven't stepped on them. I mean, you just hug the wall and you go around that. And again, even if I step on them, we still should survive. Okay, so we gotta go all the way here, then I turn around and that's where we place it. Okay guys, so I found a way to save... Like a... Nothing happened! Stop it! I can hear you writing those comments. Cyric! No, Cyric! Nothing happened there. Stop it. It is all right. It is all right. I think because I went here and you see, that's why 
You might be like, Sayek, what happened? Explain that to me. You see, the when the door is open, I could go a little bit deeper there. And by going a little bit deeper, I was able to place the mine a little bit closer to me. But when that door spawned, I got teleported back a little bit further and then I exploded on that mine. Check this out. I can do it again. I can explode on that mine again if I get there fast enough. I get there. And that's it. Look at this. Now I should probably explode. Now I'm probably going to explode in the mine again because I did, did it fast. You see? There we go. Just don't do it uh, too fast. Oh my god, sake, thank you. You're welcome. Now it is going to be fine. Because I got there before the door closed and before the door spawned back in. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the education here. This channel is all about the education. So make sure to subscribe for more education. I have no idea who's gonna use 99 mines to explode these things, but hey, now you know. Just wasted a mine to prove a point. I mean, not to prove a point, just to show what happened. To explain how I died, I don't think I had to prove any points, as there was no points to prove. I just wanted to show you what'll happen. We believed you. It's fine. And now you guys believe even more. Why don't you use grenades so you don't waste mines like that? Every time I get a comment like this, I don't know how to respond to it. There's a part of me that gets kind of triggered, then there's another part of me that kind of doesn't care. And then there's another part of me that just says like, hey, just ignore that comment. What do you mean I'm wasting my landmines? Like, what are you gonna do with these landmines? There are no waste. Give me at least like one thing that is better, th where landmines have a better usage than using them at the PD. What do you mean wasting landmines like this? Like, how else can you use them? Where else can you use these landmines, sir? Educate me. Like, I'm genuinely, genuinely curious. What am I supposed to do with these landmines then? I lost that comment, so I don't know who that person was. So even if they respond now in the chat, I won't see their response. Oh, I, s I saw it. Norbert. Okay. I see you, man. I'm looking for your comment. Why am I wasting landmines and where else can I use them? Like, I really want to know. Maybe I am actually wasting them. Maybe there's a better way to use these landmines. In any case, it is what it is. Let's go for the wave 70. Oh no, the dude survived. No! Unbelievable. Landmines bunker alpha on the giants. I mean, you can use them in some other places, but like, I mean, it's... It's not a waste to use them here. I think it's the most efficient way to use these landmines. The most efficient way to use the landmines is in the police department. And that's it. I don't get a response there in the chat from that dude. <sighs> I guess we'll never know why I am wasting these landmines here. Ooh, plus we've gotten some more blue. Beautiful. Beautiful. He did respond, did he? No, he didn't. Stop it. Don't lie to me. Let's go for the wave 72.
You should play Undawn. It's like a light version of Scum Survival. That's totally not true. I have played Undawn on the channel already. I've made like four videos. I think three videos plus a live stream. And we've like unlocked all the content there. We've done everything there is to do. It's not a bad game. But there is definitely not enough content. Maybe it also depends on which server you play. Like if you play on Asian servers, maybe there are more people there. Maybe. Maybe that game is more popular in Asia. I have no idea. But here, I played in European servers and it was basically empty. Like I tried to do some PvP and I couldn't do any PvP. So there's that. Go on at least one more bloat. I'd like to take it. Oh, I don't have space to take it. I kept the. Oh. <sighs> uh, what do we do, ladies and gentlemen? What do we do? I think I can drop uh, some armor here. There we go. That's what we're gonna do. We have a few bodies outside the arena, so be careful about the body buildup. Uh, yep. Because I'm sure because of the zombies that are outside of the arena, we can have less zombies here. Or maybe the zombies outside of the arena will just despawn first. I don't know. In any case, well, some zombies have escaped. More surrounded, perhaps someday in the future. I can't promise anything. I don't know. Okay, we need more landmines. Let's begin. Yeah, I, I'm kind of happy that we found a better way to place these landmines. I no longer have to place them from the front. I can just touch the door, turn around and just place it. It's a lot easier, a lot faster. And yeah, it's just easier to wait until the door closes, then boom, and there we go, I can place it easy. Done. What if I just click start and I close this thing? Oh, I can't close it before uh, while the thing is loading. Okay. I'll probably pick up the cards. Feels like there's a lot of them. I can smell another blue here. I can smell one more blue card. Nothing, 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 no blue. My smell has deceived me. Unbelievable. Whoops. Hungry Chomper has escaped. And also curious, how far are we here in the season pass? Okay, I think we can just do this and we are at level 54 almost we started at level 45 so we've almost gained 10 levels which is quite decent soon we will be at level 60 and there I'll get another grenade launcher uh, excuse me not the grenade launcher but the juggernaut and then I'll recycle it again for more blueprints How was your day? I remember playing Last Earth in 2019. So many things have been added, says Machus. Uh, there were a lot of things added, and at the same time, not that many. Because when you think about it, 2019 was like four years ago. And in these four years, we didn't really get like a lot of insane updates. We did get some new things, but... Yeah. Most of the updates are gone now. We had a lot of... Events. We didn't have a lot of permanent content.
The most notable things that they have removed from the game that they should probably bring back is the prison season. They should definitely bring back the prison location to the game. Or either bring it back as a location or... Or, or an event or something in the calendar. And also we had mercenaries. We still have mercenaries now, except that these current mercenaries are kind of garbage. As you can only do expeditions with them. But before, mercenaries would follow you everywhere. You could clear bunker alphas with that stuff. Bunker bravos, like anything you wanted. At that time, we didn't have bunker bravos, but you got the point. So you could give them, like, melee weapons and they would follow you. So I guess those are the biggest pieces of content that they have removed from the game. I'm sure there were some other events that we've had in the game. There was the hunting season where we had nets and you had to throw nets uh, over the zombies to catch them. Which was also decent, but yeah. We had a bunch of other events. There was like some sort of a helicopter event, maybe. And we had to explode zombies there. I think it was during season one or something like that. I don't know. They only have eight landmines, so I'll probably have to use some grenade launchers for the last few waves. Unbelievable. Oh, another blue, that's it. 16 blue, ladies and gentlemen, that's epic. Do you think Last Earth is mostly paid to win? Because in my opinion, it's 50-50. You can enjoy playing without paying, but you need to grind so much and wait for energy to come back as much as... Uh, I don't really know if the energy is the biggest problem. You can do a lot of things in this game with 200 energy. Plus, once you unlock the chopper, you can drive and do lots of things. But it all probably depends how much you play. If you want to play the game like six hours a day, then yes, it's probably not enough energy. But if you want to play this game for like an hour a day, then 200 energy is going to be plenty. If you want to do... Even for two hours, it might be enough. But yeah, there are some other like pay-to-win things. The biggest pay-to-win things in this game... Like the single biggest pay-to-win thing in this game is the ATV. That's it. If you remove the ATV from the game or you make ATV more accessible, then... Yeah, it's... The game is actually surprisingly not very pay to win. And one of the biggest reasons about that is because the shop here is terrible in the game. Like there's almost nothing to buy here. Like for example, this police station pack. Like you can get a grenade launcher. I think it's a one-time offer maybe. I don't know. Like it's... Whatever. Again, I don't like to talk about deals here in the shop, but whatever. Like this unknown box, it's, it's a great deal. It's free. Reanimators or whatever. But, like, the, the gear, in terms of gear that you can buy here, is pretty bad. Like, these silence packs, it's bad. Like, this crate is just horrible. The heavy equipment for 30 bucks, this, is just terrible. Like, it's just horrible deal. Like, the worst deal ever. Same thing with these special forces pack. I mean, here you can get a tactical backpack, but still. Like, lots of the things in the shop are bad. That's why... Saying that this game is pay to win, it's kind of weird because most of the items in the game, like 90% of the shop is pretty bad. It's not worth it. Steel rooms are kind of pay to win-ish when you think about it. It takes a while to get those steel rooms. It's a lot easier to save up and buy a steel room during, during a sale. You can save like a year worth of grind for $20. Which again, $20 is a lot of money.
But without the sale, that room is like $100. Yes, I agree, but the thing is, I like this game so much, I would love to play it for eight hours, getting the gas tank for Chopper, I don't have luck to get it. There isn't much to do, like, you cannot play this game for eight hours straight. Like, there is nothing to do, and if you still don't have the Chopper, you will get it very soon, so I guess you're a new player. But you will see that there isn't many things you can do for eight hours. There aren't many things that you can do for eight hours straight. You can farm, like, some green zones to get stone, wood, iron, like, carrots, meat. And that's it. Like, that's your entire grind. And then you wait until your location's reset. You clear Bunker Alpha. Bunker Alpha takes quite a while to clear if you want to clear that stuff efficiently. Other than that, that's it. You also can clear the farm location. And that's pretty much it. Rinse and repeat. Like, there is nothing... You cannot spend eight hours a day in last dinner unless... I don't know. Okay, I guess we can get the grenade launcher and begin. But yeah, ATV is pretty pay to win. True friend doggos take forever and a little bit to get. I mean, you can buy some of them in the shop, but even then it's like gambling. I really don't like that kind of stuff. So I wouldn't advise buying those doggos in the shop. It's not like you can buy a guaranteed true friend doggo. You can only buy a doggo to get a chance to get that doggo. It's just silly. Every time you have to buy something in the shop and you don't know what you get, it's it's stupid. Those things should probably be illegal, actually. Loot boxes, right? Loot boxes should probably be illegal. If you're buying something, you should know what you're buying. If you want to buy something and you know that you will get, like, a grenade launcher there, sure, fine. You're buying a grenade launcher. If you're buying a box and you have a chance of getting there a grenade launcher or maybe you'll get a scrap metal. Like, that's stupid. Those kind of boxes should be probably legal. But uh, ATV is the biggest pay to win thing. Okay, let's do the last wave. Those boxes are literally gambling. Yeah, I mean, it is gambling. I don't know why no one has done nothing about these boxes yet. It's very stupid. Okay, there we go. We did it, guys. We've done 99 waves. We absolutely did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. I'm gonna exchange all of these brown for green. And again, if you, let's say, you've never done 99 waves before. You've played this game for a few months. You've saved up like 99 grenades. You've saved up a few maybe grenade launchers. And you want to do those 99 waves and you've just done 99 waves. What do you do next? Just exchange all of your brown for green. That's it. We have gotten 76 uh, green cards. And that's it. Don't do anything else. Just keep opening up those green cards until you run out of them. It'll take you a long time to open that stuff up, but you will get, like, at least 70 melee weapons. Maybe 140 melee weapons. Maybe you'll get 70 guns. Like, you will get a lot of weapons from this stuff. Like, you'll probably get at least 30 guns from these 70 green. Maybe even more. Maybe 50 guns. Like, you will get a lot of them. So, there's that. Let's get this armor, and we're gonna open up 5 purple. Just because, why not? Just for the content. Nobody should open up 5 purple. At least last dinner shows you what you can get from the boxes. Most games don't even show you what you can win. Still don't like the crates, but yes, says Delta. Yep. I see what you mean. And hey, we have reached level 57. All right, that's pretty poggers. See, all things considered, right? Last dinner isn't that pay to win because the shop is terrible, as I said. The shop is terrible, and that's for the better, right? Sadly, like, those that buy things in the shop, they probably, like, get scammed. But most of the time, like, shop isn't really good, so you can't really progress a lot. Obviously, things in the settlement, like, are very expensive and you will actually progress a lot in the game. If you buy, like, settlement items in the shop, but whatever. Like, settlement isn't really worth it anyways. <laughs> like, it's not that great. So, who cares about the settlement? But, like, all the other items that you can buy in the shop aren't that worth it. Except, as I said, the steel room and the... Uh, the 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 season passes and mostly because you can get 
ATV transmissions because without that stuff, you can't really assemble your ATV and you can't get any ATV transmissions unless you get you have lots of caps. But even if you have lots of caps, you're not gonna get like 10 ATV transmissions from those caps. You need like tens of thousands of those caps. Like you'll have to play the game for years to get enough, enough ATV transmissions. But again, on the bright side, ATV isn't that great anyways. Like, even if you unlock that ATV, it's not worth your time. So... Overall, Last on Earth isn't that pay to win. It's a crazy thing to, th to say, but it's not that very pay to win. You can just clear Bunker Alpha. Even without the wall trick, you'll still profit there. And that's it. Just by clearing Bunker Alpha once. And if you want to, like, be very efficient, just wall check entire Bunker Alpha and you will, like, get a lot of profit. Like, an insane amount of profit. That if you Let's say you don't want to clear Bunker Alpha, you want to buy the resources that you get at Bunker Alpha. Like, I don't know, you'll probably, like, have to spend, like, tens of dollars. I don't know how the amount of dollars you'll have to spend there. Like, seven guns. Like, how much money will cost you to buy seven guns in the store? Like, I have no idea. You can't even buy guns in the game. You don't get guaranteed guns. You can get a guaranteed Glock only. For... For how much? Okay, the game just lagged here. It doesn't want to show me. You can only buy 10 crates. You see, that's also kind of stupid. You can only buy 10 crates, but you need 6 crates to get a guaranteed Glock. And you can only buy 10 of them. You cannot buy six. It's stupid that it's not six and twelve, that it's only five and ten here. In any case, whatever. Shop is goop, as I said. It's pretty trash. Bunker Alpha is valuable. And yeah. Bunker Alpha is what keeps this game not pay to win. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I think I said everything there is to say about that topic. Not pay to win, you say. I mean, I said it's not that pay to win. I never said that it's not pay to win. I said it's not that pay to win, all things considered. And I already like said many times what things are pay to win. ADV is pay to win. Okay, we got 50 blue. That's it, guys. We're going to open up. Five purple. How do I have 160 green cards? When did I get them? In any case, let's open the chopper and let's go. Totally true. As long as you clear at least level two, level three, the blind one, and every two days you will be super rich with guns. Yeah, you'll have a lot of guns, and that's what this game has to offer. Like, that's the most valuable thing in the game. Like, none of the other locations give you guns, and that's it. You don't kind of have to clear anything. If you have guns, that's it. You kind of have everything. You can clear most of the locations in the game with guns. Uh, let's go back to the police department. Seven, eight guns every two days from Bunker Alpha, says Mr. Lane. Plus, you get some rest-up events. So every two days, I think you can get, like, two rest-up events. So you get one rest-up event every day and a half. Like, in any case, you can still get a rest-up event. And from a rest-up event, you get from zero to two guns. Most of the time, you get one gun. I think, like, 70% chance to get one gun, at least. But Cyrix says DA. Thank you for being a member for 14 months. Thank you, DA, for your support of the channel. Thank you, thank you, thanks for everything, and welcome to the stream. Thank you, thank you. Psych is letting his feelings be known about spending money in the game today. I wonder how he feels about it. What? Psych is letting his feelings be known about spending money in the game today. I wonder how he feels about it. How who feels about it? In any case, guys, uh, once again, do not exchange 50 blue for five purple. It's just stupid. It's it's dumb. It's brain dead. Don't do it. It's stupid. Because I can get now like what hundred guns, and I'll get uh, twenty guns instead. Like it's stupid. I'm like literally just deleting. 80 guns right now. It's stupid, but hey, I'm doing it for the content and for the memes. So let's do it. One. 
Naruto and three, four, and five. So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Inside of the first crate, we have gotten a silencer mod, which we already have. We've gotten a heavy barrel for the shoddy, which I don't need it. We've gotten side times five for the VSS. Sadly, I don't want it. The side times four for the AK, we already have it. And the red laser for the M16, and I already have that as well. So from all of these guns, we have gotten one, only one Winchester, which I guess that's a W, but in any case, it wasn't worth it. I could have gotten so many better, so many better guns from those blue crates. I could have gotten an entire rack of guns, and instead I got nothing. So as I said, do not open up purple cards, but I... There we go. Machete mod. We still did not get a machete mod here. To be honest, I'm not even sure if it's possible. Some people told me that it is possible to get a machete mod here, but... The, the longer I live on this earth, the more I feel like I'm getting trolled. But I have gotten a... Sawblade Mace here. Mod, like that engine mod, so it is possible to get melee mods here. Hmm... At least you got a flare gun. Yes, I'm very excited for the flare gun. Actually, I'd, I'd rather get a Glock probably than a flare gun. But flare guns are fine. I have nothing against them. They're good. I got it, says Joshua. But yeah, maybe you are lying. Hmm. Maybe it is possible to get it. In any case, I did not get it today. Every time I open up purple cards, there'll be somebody that'll say that, hey, Sag, be grateful. You've gotten a lot of loot. Like, I would kill for this loot. And I have nothing to say to those people. Because I just literally explained that I could have gotten 100 guns instead of 20. So I just deleted 80 guns. So that's why these crates are bad. That's it. I have 93 mines, what should I do? Just do 99 waves with that. Take some guns, clear 7 waves, and then use the rest of the mines for 93 waves. You got the point. It is what it is. Yeah, 10 blue is way better than 1 purple. Like, absolutely. These hundred guns would take a month, says Richard. What? Like, it would take you a month to open up those hundred guns, yes, but, like, you just wasted 80 guns anyways. Like, it's a, it's a stupid take. You are getting uh, 10 guns every three days. Instead, you just deleted that. Again, like, I'm not going to argue about it. It's stupid to open up purple cards. Nobody should do it. Unless, again, uh, like, the only reason why you, why you should open up purple cards is if you play this game, like, non-stop, you have, like, God knows how many resources, and if you keep clearing 99 waves every three days, then yes, by all means, open up purple cards as you're not gonna, you'll, ne you'll never be able to open up blue cards if you keep clearing 99 waves every three days, but I don't know who's gonna do that. But if you are that person that clears 99 waves every three days, then yeah, sure. Maybe it is stupid for you to open up blue cards as you'll never open them. In any case. Uh, let's drop this here. This here and stupid Winchester. Let's put it in the garbage gun box. I think we have more guns. Oh no, I should have dropped something in the chopper. Do we have anything else inside of that PD? Do we? Did I take everything? Do we have any more guns there? I don't remember. I think so. Yeah, I think we have something. I don't remember. Winchester? What do you mean, poor Winchester? It's goop. 
Yeah, two guns left. Yeah, we gotta go back there to get the rest of the weapons. Pay raiders with the brutalizer. Hmm. I never tried doing that. So let's go back. Let's get the rest of the weapons. From the blackboard, PD. And hey, I'm happy. We have progressed a bit further in this season path. From level 45 to level 57. Not too shabby. Soon we're gonna be at level 60. And even if every three days you open up, you do 99 waves, you're not gonna get five purple. So yeah, even by 99 waves every three days, you're not gonna get five purple. So yeah, like you're not gonna, it's stupid to exchange your blue for purple. Like nobody should exchange that. So like you can get 50 blue in three days. this. I might bring glue back to the base as well. Why not? Plastics. Uh, there we go. Two guns. There we go. Let's get it. Let's get that all. What does it take only 26 energy and not 51 energy? I think because of the, the VIP parks or something. Don't change your cards, get them from the supply event. Yeah, I mean, it's... If you get purple cards from the supply event, obviously they're great then. But that's not what we are talking about. Just once in a while, get a purple. Otherwise, open what you need, says Frosty. Yeah, I mean, if you feel like opening up a purple card, you can exchange like 10 blue for one purple maybe once in a while if you want to treat yourself. I still wouldn't suggest doing that. But I mean, those are your cards. You can guys do whatever you want with them. I'm just here to give you my opinion about them. But other than that, you do whatever you want to do. I've shown you what you get there. You can make up your own mind. If you want to open up purple, you open up purple. And most of the time, those saying that, hey, Saiyan, those purple crates are great. Like, they're worth it. They have never opened up a single purple crate. Say, you do you. That's it. I've said it all. Oh, wow. Oh, these crates. We have gotten more space so I can store something. They're worth it if you don't have mods, says David. No, they're not. And how many purple crates you have opened up, David? They were worth it before. Now you can get purple mods by doing... Uh, you can get three purple mods from the season pass, first of all. You get three purple mods on level 33 every month. So... That's already like 30 blue cards. Right there. And second of all, you get a purple mod from the arena event. So... Exchanging now blue for purple isn't really worth it, even if you want mods, because there are better ways to get those mods. Um, okay, we have some more space. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Open them from the season pass. Yeah, luckily those three purple mods are free in the season pass. Like, you don't have to buy the season pass to get those three purple mods. Like, it's insane. You're getting three purple mods just from there. It's already awesome. It is already great. All right, now we have some things to do. We got to go quickly to the settlement and we have to, like, reset the workbenches and other stuff. So let's do it. Let's buckle up, buckle rose. We'll go to visit the settlement. How much money did you spend on this whole base? I have no idea. As I said, I've, I've said many times already, in total, I think I've spent around $300 in this game. 
and 200 of that probably went for the ATB. Basically for content, like most of the stuff went for content. If I wasn't like doing YouTube, then my totals on this game would have been probably zero. Um, this charcoal, I need to get a little bit of iron. I forgot, what else do I need for the settlement? I need planks. Iron, this, and I guess that's it. I don't think there's nothing else I want to break there. There's nothing here I need, whatever. Let's go to the settlement. Aluminum wires. Oh yeah, we could bring that, that's true. That is bloody true. Let's get it. And rubber hoses thingies. I don't think I have any rubber hoses here though. Yeah, we don't have any, let's go. How long have you played Last Earth? We've been playing it for six years. A bit over six years actually now. Six years and a few days. In a few weeks. Will he spend 100 bucks on the helicopter, says Sumuk. Actually, I don't think so. Like, if they release a helicopter and I have to spend $100 to get the helicopter parts, I probably won't be rushing now. I had, I've i spent like $200 on the ATV as... At that time, the game was more popular. There were many more people playing it. There were many more viewers on YouTube watching it, so it was worth it for me to spend that much money as I knew people will watch it now. It's not going to be worth it. So if they release that helicopter, I'll just take things slowly. I'll be grinding the game, but I'm not going to buy it. This won't be worth it. But again, it all depends. Okay, we got these parts. Uh, lovely. gonna drop this thing here wait i wanted to do something else but i don't know what i'm sure i wanted to do more things let's get that now follow story mode for the settlement we've already followed the story mode for the settlement but thank you we're already done here with the story mode here i'll need to activate this to get some more sawdust um one of these Workbenches here. There we go. We can. Oh, we need screws now. Okay, let's get that. We need some screws. Actually, I don't have enough of them. We gotta go up there. This. Oh, and we do have a lot of nails here. We have 450 nails. Epic, because we needed some nails to craft landmines. Personally, I don't like the settlement, says Grim. The settlement is... isn't the best. Settlement is pretty good. Hopefully the next game modes that they add. I think they've done like a Q&A and they said that the next location or like whatever thing, I don't know if it'll be the next or whatever, but in any case, uh, some sort of a multiplayer update is coming. I don't know when, but it's coming. That's what the dev said. And uh, they said that it's not gonna be in sector seven. So I am assuming that this might be the expedition multiplayer update. 
Because where else they can add multiplayer? Like maybe we'll get like the dual thing coming, you know? Maybe maybe this will be a new game mode in multiplayer. Maybe this game mode will save the settlement. I don't know. Depends how pay to win it is. Because if they add PVPs to the game and if they're exactly like in the crater, then it's horrible. Like crater's PVP is... It's just straight up terrible. It's pay to win and it is terrible. So hopefully this one will be fine. Um, unless again, maybe you need like SWAT armor and guns to go to PvP. Like, I mean, it's a lot cheaper because at least you can get SWAT armor here. But in any case, I wanted to do something else now. Okay, we need some gasoline to fire up the grinder thing. Okay. We only have 29 sawdust. You gotta be kidding me. That's not enough. Okay, we gotta get some more planks. Do I have more? Well, that's it. We're out of planks. I only have seven of them. I don't even have enough planks for the sawdust. Yikes. Well, that stuff is gonna chillax here then. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Say so that is it. That's basically our settlement. Any idea what we will use those fuel canisters for? I have no idea. You can use those fuel canister canisters to refuel stuff. But yeah, maybe we'll get like a capture mode. Instead of dual, we'll get like a capture mode where you can... Like here, it looks like you can shoot like some zombies and do something. I don't know. Maybe you can co-op with other players rather than duel and PvP against them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just have to wait and see whatever they add to the game here. The beams should produce more sawdust in my opinion. Like absolutely it's silly how expensive it is. Um, Can we do any expeditions though? I don't think so. I think last time I tried doing the... Wait, have I done any expeditions in the old station? Uh, let's try to do one. Let's get this, Chris. Okay, I mean, we can get Connor. And we can get Lemmy Maverick and her, for example. Let's try to add that and let's see if we can beat this wave. 10 beams should give you 50 sawdust, in my opinion, says Frost. Yeah, I agree. Probably. Can we recycle canisters now? Yeah, I think you can recycle that stuff to get some scrap metal. I don't know if it's worth it, but I wouldn't suggest you to... Don't recycle them yet. I'm sure you can... We'll be able to use those gas canisters for something later. But it's not like they're extremely rare, so even if you recycle them, it's not like... That'll be the end of the world. Oh, no, that's it. We have to do different zombies because there was the explodey dude, so we have to get a different... A different mercenary. Is the crater even worth playing? Not really because they haven't updated it in over a year. So I can't suggest you to play it there. As they haven't updated it in a long time. So what's the point? The grind there. They basically like kind of abandoned it. So no, don't wait your, don't waste your time there. Unless you want to play there, then hey, you do what you got to do. So yeah, the crater is bad. But if at least if we were getting like constant updates there, then yeah, maybe like you should like give it a try. But they haven't updated it in, in a long time. Like I can't, I can't suggest you playing there. It's just goop. Okay, that's it! Connor survived! By luck! That's all I have to say. Connor survived by luck. Connor was supposed to explode because I couldn't even shoot that fast. But then Connor survived. I accidentally overheated the turret. That's alright. Could have been a lot worse. I'm kind of scared to use this shot because what if there's another wave of those zombies? Another wave of those exploders. Okay, I'm gonna save a shot for the next wave. 
see what's up. Okay, there doesn't really look like there are any exploders. I once again overheated the turret. Okay, Karma's dead. Excuse me, sir. That's not what I signed up for. Is that the last wave? Oh no, that's not the last wave. Okay, the dude's dead, and Connor doesn't have any health, and yeah, I can't progress in this settlement anyways. Even if I wasn't overheating my turret. <sighs> we could maybe try some different mercenaries, but I'm not gonna bother about it. Can't do it. We can't do it, ladies and gentlemen. So it is what it is. Crater is very difficult for free to play. It says risky, yep. And as I said, the biggest issue with the crater is that they haven't updated it in a long time, so... That's like the main reason why you shouldn't play there. But yeah, it is what it is. Expedition is too difficult for later stages. I mean, Expedition was designed for you to hit the paywall very fast. In any case, see you guys later in the next episode. We've opened up five purple today. We've built... We've actually crafted 20... Uh, landmines and yeah we are also wait i want to show you we are very close to level 60 probably tomorrow during tomorrow's live stream we're gonna get this dragonov and i will recycle it we're gonna recycle this dragonov and we'll see if i get another mod if i get another blueprint or not if i get nothing i'll cry if i get something and it's goop i'll cry so probably tomorrow guys we're gonna cry during the live stream so yeah, thanks everybody for joining see you tomorrow peace out and take care everybody Hopefully you enjoyed that five purple crate opening and take care guys. Peace out. Take care everybody. Shout out to you and take care everybody.